Hello and welcome back once again to the chaotic city of Tulfors. What you're looking at right now is uh, the new cargo train from Lego that came out in this summer actually, just, well, just a few months ago. It has the new Bluetooth remote control. It's the white box we have here. And you also have the grey infrared receiver for the other trains that I have. And the red cargo train is standing right there. Lego has says that said that um, this uh, Bluetooth system will work better in the areas where you don't have direct line of sight to your train. And I hope to test that I, in the future. And not, we're not going to do that in this episode, but maybe in the future. Because, you know, we do have the tunnel over here. And once that is finished, it will be sealed off. So we won't see the train or be able to have a direct line of sight to it while it's in the tunnel. There's been a few changes. We're going to go over to the town. Sorry about the mess all around here, but uh, I haven't had time to clean that much. There's uh, two more hospital people in here. I'm not sure if the one on the right is male or female. Either it's a male Dr. McDreamy or looking at the the jacket, it might be a female who's might who might be quite looking good looking as well. They're gonna work at the new hospital when the hospital has been uh, expanded. I have a lot of the pieces I need to do the expansion. I just need to get the time to sit down and do it and also plan how I want to do it because like I said before, I don't want it to be I don't want the ground to be um, as so much bigger than it is today, but I want to have a full building. So I'll think about that. Um, there's some traffic lights that's been placed in the city. And some uh, more lights. Light poles. This is perhaps to see it here, where you can see the traffic lights just in front of the helicopter there. Who's of course not going to be there. Just that the airport was full, and there you have it on the other side of the road as well. And we have them also right here. Let's see if we can zoom in on them. I'm not sure if I can do this, but I will give it a shot. You can just hold the camera with one hand and do some zooming. Yes, here we go. Here we have the traffic lights. They came from the LEGO Extra sets, and they are very, very nice. I got uh, four traffic lights in one set. And... Uh, I have 12 lights in total placed in the town. I'm not sure that they're going to stay exactly where they are right now, but I just tried to put them out to make the town look a bit more like a busy town. And I'm probably going to move them around to, to get there. We have one a pair right here where you also have the sort of sound alarm that tells uh, people who just who are walking pedestrians that they can cross the road and also these back here have the same system and I have the ones right here who's placed here for a reason it's because when there is a helicopter or many ambulances at the hospital then people have to stop and wait for the road to clear and uh, the cargo train also got us a new armored transport I have to say it doesn't look as armored as the smaller armored transport, but uh, it'll do. It's nice, very nice. I also have a container now that is uh, on, on the cargo train that is uh, armored. So uh, that's basically what's new really. Yeah, we made uh, some changes here. Uh, decided that this sidetrack here is not just going to be for the farmer to have his uh, cows getting loaded onto the train it will be generally for uh, cargo transport so the idea is that uh, the cargo trains will back in there with their cargo wagons and uh, there will be trucks forklifts and the things to carry the goods from train over to road and uh, that might explain why we have this take off ramp right here from the main road so the cars can get there of course this one has to move I don't know where I'm gonna put it maybe I just have to put it in storage and take it out whenever I'm doing some harvesting 
I love that harvester. It's a uh, it's a great set. I mean, I it's it's huge, but it's great. It's lovely. So uh, I don't like putting it away, but I think I have to because it's basically too big to be in the city. But uh, it'll be around from time to time. I'm quite sure about that. Also, the farm here is going to be built a bit more. I'm thinking also thinking about taking away that bush station because, quite frankly, it doesn't fit in. So I think I'm put storing, putting that in the storage. And uh, yeah, we have a new, two few new visitors in the western town as well. We have an old lady up here. She's uh, just come to town to run the saloon that will be built. A little bit like uh, the old western movie Silverado featuring among others John Cleese as a sheriff. <laughs> it's a great movie if you haven't seen it please do. And we have Tim. Tim here. Hello he says. It's uh, a little bit weird. You can see it in his face. He's not really an Indian but the Indians uh, like him and let him play along with them. If you, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of write up about Tim in the um, in the Tulfosh blog. Just uh, check the comments under, and I will add the link to the blog. But uh, the blog is in Norwegian, of course. But Google Translate will help you there. I promise. <laughs> I don't know how accurate it will be, but uh, it'll work. Yeah, back here it's still chaos. See if we can get around here. It's a lot of legs on the camera to get around. Here's still chaos. They're working on the fire station that's still being built upstairs. Also, I have a progress report on that on the blog. And here's the petrol station. It's now been decided that it's going to stay here. So that octan sign there, I'm gonna take it off the green patch and put it on the concrete. Because there's no grass right there. That will be logical. Well, I think that is... Well, actually, there's one more thing to show you. Uh, the bat signal. When I was in Legoland uh, about a month ago, I uh, bought uh, a pack with these figures that you see on the roof here, except from the camera, the helicopter of the camera, and the bat signal. And uh, the idea is that it's going to be on the new police station that's going to be located here, right where the existing police station is. But I'm going to build it... Uh, as a new building, make it a bit taller, perhaps. Yeah, it's, yeah, it definitely has to be a bit taller, and uh, maybe a little bit more compact. Still gonna have cells for the prisoners, and uh, offices for the police officers, helipad, and all the things that you really need. But it's going to look a little bit different than it does today. And then the bat signal is going to go on the top of that building. Well, I think that was all. Can just do a quick swipe here. The ocean, everything under the ocean. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> we just swung quickly about that. There's the other ocean piece. I'm gonna do my job, and uh, hopefully next time or the time after, I'm going to fix that boat so it uh, stands directly on the two plates, so I can remove that brown plate. And also it can look a bit nicer down there. The beach. <laughs> There's a lot of air seaplanes here right now. They're not going to be here permanently. They're just here for the moment. But uh, like I said before, I'm going to build a little small harbor for just for a few boats. I'm not totally sure if I'm going to build it on the side where the small boats are right now or if I'm going to build it on the other side where the um, entry to the harbor is but I'm leaning towards building it on the side where the two red boats are right now because it's going to be quite tight to have all the space I need on that the other side but I can move the lighthouse to the other side of course and I'm most certainly going to do the beach again and yes, I guess there is just one more thing to do. Try to, to check if the train works. Here we go. It works. Let's follow it around. Hope it doesn't collide with anything. <laughs> nah, it runs nice. There it comes out of the tunnel. 
Yes. Yeah, makes no sound there. Ah, we have to stop, I think. Let's see if we can get back as well. <laughs> I don't have, have <laughs> I don't have a circle around there, so we have to back all the way back. But uh, that's okay. There you see the bank wagon also on the back there. The back half of that last wagon is a bank container. Yep, here we go. Uh, stop. <laughs> there. So it worked. Nice. That's just me saying thank you and hope to see you back another time.